Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Tailwind project real quick by using Veed. Alright, the software that I want you to install in your computer is Visual Studio Code. So make sure that you install this uh, code editor in your computer. And the next software is Node.js. Okay, make sure you download and install this one because this software will be used for download Veed and download Tailwind for your project. All right, let's go to Veed website. Veed is a software, is a bundled software that's helped you to set up a front end projects really quick. All right, let's click on get start. So you can use multiple language, but in this case, we will use a normal JavaScript, which is vanilla JS. Let's open PowerShell. Okay, let's go to desktop because I want to set up projects on desktop. Okay. And then let's create a folder, mkdr uh, sample app. Okay, enter. All right, let's get into sample app folder. So you will see sample app folder on desktop right now because we just created. Okay, let's go back to Veed website. So then you have to type uh, this command npm create feed at latest or you just copy it and then paste it over here hit enter so if you ask you the project's name you can enter the project's name uh, sample tailwind okay hit enter and you can choose multiple framework over here but in this case I will choose uh, vanilla and hit enter okay then let's get into sample tailwind okay and then npm install so just uh, follow this command and then we are going to open this folder with visual studio code so we type uh, code dot so you will see the, uh, the files in projects over here all right go to this folder sample app you see the files are created okay what's next you have to run this command and this command need to run every time when you open the project so npm run dev so this command will run your website on this URL and port number you can copy this URL and then open Chrome paste it over here enter you will see hello vid over here so the front end project is set up the next step we have to integrate tailwind with this project all right i will exit this temporary uh, control c or oh, and then yes and we go to tailwindcss.com then click get started the installation technique that we are going to use for our project is using post css you will see these techniques can be used for webpack, rollup, feed, parcel. Alright, let's copy this command. And then go to PowerShell. Paste it over here. Hit enter. It will download Tailwind and install on your project. When you come to your project and click on package.json, you will see Tailwind.css. So the next step, you have to run this command to create tailwindconfig.js on your projects. Okay, run it in PowerShell. Okay, you will see created tailwindcss config files. And when you go back to your projects, you will see this file is created. So the next step, you have to create these files. Okay, copy it. And let's create a new files over here and paste is over here okay and then just copy this code and paste it over here and the next step you need to config the path of all of your tempest files in tailwind.config.js files you can copy this one and go over here and paste this over here because index.html doesn't belong to source folder, 
so we can remove source folder over here and we can remove this one too and just left it like this the next step you need to copy this CSS okay copy it and put it in styles.css okay paste it over here and next you need to run npm run dev npm run dev okay You will see Tailwind is integrated into our project. You will see this uh, text has been changed. Okay, let's go to index to verify if Tailwind is installed successfully. So how about I create a div? So I put class, so I use Tailwind class BG red 500. And then I type hello. you will see that hello is in red box this means that we've installed Tailwind successfully so we can remove this one if you don't want to use like JavaScript remove this div and go to main.js and remove this one because it's only JavaScript so the CSS have been imported over here and then it's include over here Alright, this is a simple step that you have to do to install Tailwind. The next step, I want to show you how to bundle these projects to a static website. Okay, so you can host that static website on your web server. Okay, I'm going to exit this one. You have to run Ctrl C multiple times and type yes to terminate the command okay next you need to type npm run build to compile or to bundle the projects then it will create this folder for you so if you right click over here here and you click uh, open with live server open with live server is an extension that i've installed into a visual studio code it's named live server make sure that you install this one and right click and run with live server you can config this one make sure you put dot over here to access folder so save again and then you will see it works and you just upload this folder these files in your web server so your website can up and running with tailwind and if you like my video don't forget to click like and subscribe and comment down below